Hello everyone, so in this video let us talk about a problem from lead code, it's a medium level problem, the problem name is integer break. So let's start. The problem statement goes like this that you're given an integer n and you have to break that into the sum of k positive integers such that k is greater than or equal to 2 and you have to maximize the product of those integers. You have to just break this number in two or more numbers such that the product of those numbers should be as maximum as possible. That is our problem statement and you just have to find out the product. So n is pretty small. Whenever I see small numbers, either it will be done by backtracking or maybe modification of dp. I just got some hint out of that only. But let's move on to some solution part. What you can understand is that the first thing which I which comes to my mind is okay. Let's say that if I have a number, let's say five. Let's take one example of five only. Let's say I have a number five. So for every num for a any problem, any random problem, first try to find out some examples and try to see can you find some pattern around it. So let's say for five, one of the options can be I break it into one and four because one plus four. So I have to break it into the numbers such that the sum of the numbers should be equal to that number, but the product should be maximized. So the product of them should be four. Or I can break into two plus three. And 3 plus 2 or 4 plus 1 is same only, but let's say 2, 2 and 3, so the product is 6, which is maximum. So the 5 can be like from 5, you can get a maximum number of 6 by breaking it down. So the answer for this is 6. Now, let's say if I take a next number, that is, let's say 10. For 10, I can break it, let's say 1 and, 1 and 9. Okay, and let's say uh, 1 and 9, and then I can also make it, let's say 2 and 8. But let's say I can also make it 5 and 5. So for 5 and 5, if I break it down, the 5 and 5, multiplication of 5 and 5 is 25. But I can further break because, because I know that the, for 5, the maximum I, answer I can get to break out 5. Because if I break down 5 to, into 2 and 3, the sum remains same. So let's say if I break this into 2 and 3, 2 and 3, the sum remains same. So it, it is equal to 10 only. But because from 5, I can directly get the maximum value of 6. And now I can get 6 and 6 and multiplication of 6 into 36. And that's the answer. So for 10, the answer is maximum 36. So I hope you get the point. So what, what struck my mind is that, okay, I have to somehow store the previous value. What is the previous maximum values I can get to? And from that value, I can bring out or build the next values. So it's very simple now. What you can do is that for started values, you can get the answer. That for 1, there is no answer because it always starts from 2. From 2, I can only break it into 1 and 1. So, answer is 1 into 1 is equal to 1 only. So, for 2, it's equal to 1. For 3, I can break it into 2, 2 and 1. So, answer is multiplication of 2 into 1 is equal to 2 only. For 4, I can break into 2 into 2, which is equal to 4. And from 5, you can start doing this operation. So, what you can do is that from 5, I have to break 5 into 2 numbers. And if it breaks down more, it will be handled by this particular case in which I will store and make a DP. Okay, that DP will store that for a particular number, what is the maximum number I can get by dividing it and multiplying it with its different values. So for 5, it can be divided into 1 and 4. Okay, then 2 and 3, 3 and 2, and then 4 and 1. Among all of these values, can I, like, can I further break 1 and 4 down? So I have two options for everything. I can either keep 1 as it is and break down 4. What I mean by this is, let's say if I have number that is, let's say three and eight. Okay. It's maybe, maybe because see, if I break down three, I will get two. So from three, I will break, break down three as two into one, which is a smaller number. So it's not better to divide three. I hope you get the point. So it's not always to choose the smaller value. The DP value is not the best way because if I like divide three more smaller, it will get into two, which is a bad thing. I hope you get the point. So what it eventually leads us is that I should not always take out the like the smaller value. Like I should, I have four options eventually. Either I can just multiply these two. Either I just, I have the sum as let's say 11, 8 plus 3 is 11. So I have, I have the sum as 11. So let's say I have the number 11. I have to break this into two numbers. So I have to break it into 3 and 8. So either I can just multiply 3 into 8 or I can use the DP value of 3 multiply with 8 or I can use the DP value of 8 and multiply with 3. Or I can use the DP value of both and multiply it. The DP value will store the max, like the maximum I can get by dividing it. And the other value is like if I don't divide it, if I just take it. 
Hope you get the point. That is the overall thing. And for every value, you just calculate it out and we'll just lay it down to n. N is very small, so it will be very small. That's the whole thing. So we just find it for dp value. Let's initialize a very, uh, let's say it is for 58. I'll just initialize with 100. So 100 numbers I can get. Initialize with some starter number. So let's say for dp equal to 1, I just initialize with 1 so that I, if I hit the condition, I know that it is 1 only. For 2, it is equal to 1, 3 equal to 2. I start with 4. For 4, I start, so add the number that is i. I will iterate over. So I have to break it into two numbers. So, so let's say I start from 1. So if I take the first number is 1, the other number will be nums minus 1. Okay, I hope you get the point. So let's say I want to total sum of 11. I want to break in two numbers. The first number is 1, so the number will be 10. So 1 plus 10. Okay. So if I, the, the first, second number is 2, it will be 9. So the, if j is iterating over every possible number, okay, 1, 2, 3, 4, till the nums length, whatever total nums is. Okay. So the first number is I can just take out 1 and the other is next nums minus x. So I have two numbers. Now for these two numbers, I have four options. Okay. I have to maximize this dp of i over these four possibilities. The four possibilities is that I just multiply these two numbers or I will just dp of x into y, x into dp of i or the, both the dps of y. Okay. And just maximize it over all the values and over all the possible two numbers I can divide the total number into. And if it further divides, then it is generated by dp values only. Just want to maximize it over dp and just print out the dp value at the i. That's the whole uh, logic and the code part. It's not too much difficult to grasp if you just understand and just take some examples. It becomes very frequently, very quickly to grasp what's of knowledge as uh, the logic. That's the overall logic and the code part for this particular video. If you still have a doubt, you can in the comment box of this particular video. Thank you for watching the video till the end. I will see you in the next one of the coding and bye.